Welcome back to the channel, we're Dan and Stephen, two guys living in our little VW camper van, a tiny space we've called home for nearly two years. Luckily the trade off for that is a pretty massive ever changing back garden. If you've been following our journey you'll know we travelled mainland Europe recently and now we jump ahead in time to the UK summer where we decide to take on the South Downs National Park and we readjust to England's not quite so friendly camper van rules, so grab a wine, a tea or whatever you fancy and come along dear. Right, Steve, where are we off to? Uh, to get some LPG. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the start of the video. We're off to get gas. It's so exciting. Hello. 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 Right, so we are in, we're in the UK, um, and we have been back here for quite some time now, and you won't really notice that because this video is probably going to follow seamlessly on from our Europe trip, so you won't even think we've been back very long. But actually it is. We've been back here a few weeks. We've done some work, seen some family. Um, check out our matching red as well, by the mm. way, red and white. <laughs> So um, we're going to go off somewhere to explore, I'll explain later, um, but we're going to go and explore somewhere that we've never actually explored properly before in the UK and it's only a couple of hours drive from where we're based. Um, when I say based, we're based in the van but we're often around Kent because our family are there because that's where we lived previously and for other reasons we, we call that our base of sorts. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's somewhere we've never explored so we're quite excited. Uh, the weather's been a bit rubbish, as everybody probably knows in the UK, although I don't know when you're actually going to see this video. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. We're going to head there and we'll mm. show you what it is. Even though... Dan's going to stop talking and we're going to go. Yeah, I'll just press the stop button. It's probably mm. easier from now on, isn't it? All right, bye. Right, let's get in the van. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> let's sort out the van. We've got food. Hang on, we better put the fridge on. Oh, this always happens. Move the pillows. It's always like a game of Tetris when you get in this van. Especially if you haven't sorted it out and you've been out for the day. And you've just loaded it up with clean clothes or whatever else. And laundry, bits and bobs, your food, chucked it all in the back, gone out, forgot it's there, come back and now we just kind of have to cushion on the kitchen top, you know? Right, good evening. Um, if you're watching this, the chances are it's because you couldn't hear any of the stuff we recorded up on the cliffs uh, because the wind was really strong. Um, but I might intersplice the two, we'll see how it goes. But basically, yeah, we're in the South Downs National Park, so we've never been here before. Apart from driving through, we've been through it many times. We've stayed in a couple of spots, but we've never ever had a chance to explore it. Um, not with the van or not before it. And where we are now, it's, oh God, what's it called, Stephen? Berlin Gap? Berlin Gap. Berlin Gap. So we're near Beachy Head. We're at the Seven Sisters, the cliffs, basically. Uh, really staggering white cliffs. That stand up and look over the channel um <clears throat> so we had a little explore tonight it's really nice as the sun's starting to set and we'll have a proper look again tomorrow but yeah we're parked here of course one of the first things we saw was no overnight parking in one of the car parks but it seems there's a big area by the side of the road that you might be allowed to stay so we're not sure we still haven't decided um we're a bit tentative i really hope we can because it's really a lovely spot to be able to access um the, the Seven Sisters and the trails nearby and we've got this beautiful field behind us all this grass at the moment it's really busy it's full of cars there's a few campers not many there is a National Trust car park and I think that's the one you're not allowed to overnight in um, so whether that extends to here I really don't think it does but we, we will see basically so that's it time to explore the South Downs you looking forward to it Steve yeah are you looking forward to it Steve come on Steve it's not all going to be walks. We did a bit. Yeah, I'm not lying. It's not all going to be walks. There'll be lots of walks, but not too many. <laughs> Thank you. 
so dinner is served. <laughs> it's our chicken curry, leftover cooked chicken, chopped in with some green beans, and a cheap jar of Tesco curry sauce, which was rubbish. Absolutely rubbish, yeah. Okay, so I just talked about adding some lemon to the curry to try and tart it up a bit even further. And then Stephen just pointed out that this delight was hanging up there. I really don't want you to think that we're just really filthy and gross and we don't clean up or anything but <laughs> this happens a lot so i'm going to take that down right now um basically obviously that's a moldy lemon and what usually happens i'll take it off camera i'm sure you don't need to keep looking at it we always hang them in the spot i just took that from oranges satsumas just just there's just a very convenient hook there that has no other purpose so we put a bag of lemons or oranges or limes or whatever it is um inevitably because we've put them there, we end up forgetting about them. I'll just show you where we are, if I can. Now the wind's eased up a bit and I haven't got the cooker on. So that road curls all the way round and there is one other van over there. And then directly to the left, it's down to the, to the cliffs and the National Trust Centre. And then you've got all that over there. So we've got this road to the side, so we are far enough in but you can hear the traffic. I imagine it's going to quieten down a lot. Yeah, it seems all right. It's not ideal, but it's not its not bad. And for the location, it kind of makes up for the fact that you're by the side of the road. So I would say not a bad spot. Good morning. Right, so we had our first night on the South Downs last night. Um, it wasn't brilliant. It was, we didn't get disturbed in terms of being asked to move on um, because there's a National Trust car parked down the road. So that was good because we're just on the side of the road. Um, but it, it was a little bit slopey. So I kept waking up and I'd sort of rolling into Stephen in the middle of the night, <laughs> which wasn't brilliant. Normally it's the other way round because Daisy tends to lean slightly the other way naturally for some reason. Um, but this time I was going that way. Um, my, so my back is hurting a bit and I did have a bit of a restless night. Every time a car went past, both of us woke up basically. So we both didn't sleep too well, but it is what it is. People do drive quite fast along here and I don't really think it's anything to do with the people being on the side of the road. It's just, it's quite a wealthy area and there's quite a lot of fast cars. So I think it's just a bit of a playground. It's one long straight road, isn't it? Well, not straight because obviously it goes around corners and winds around bends, but because it's a long road leading from A to B through a country park. I imagine people just speed along to get to their destination because it's between like Brighton and uh, Eastbourne more or less, isn't it, I guess? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. All right, so what are you up to now then? I'm going to go and find the public... <laughs> right, then. That's it, let's go to Lauren. All right then. Use the toilet first. All right then. 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 All right, bye. All right, bye. All right, enjoy your wee and whatever else. Oh, all right, thanks. All right yeah. then. Sharing's caring. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Also, this is probably going to sound really weird, um, but since we've been in Spain, France and Portugal, um, that's been lovely. All of those free airs, all those places to stay, everybody knows about it. It's, it's, it was incredible and we're so grateful we got the chance to actually experience it. Um, so we knew coming back here would be a challenge. However, um, there's part of me, and I know it will wear off, and I spoke to Stephen about this. He's just nipped to the toilet now. Um, uh, he's, he's, he doesn't quite feel the same, but I kind of, this is how I feel right now. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to getting back to that ho whole kind of challenge of trying to find a spot um, to park in. Not because it's fun, but I guess because there's some kind of satisfaction at the end of it that you've got to work for your spot. That may, might sound weird, and I know that that's going to wear thin pretty quickly, especially if you've driven around to about four places and you can't stay in any of them. Um, so I know it's not all rainbows and sunshine. In fact, it isn't at all. But I don't know. I think just having it so easy was brilliant in Europe, but there's just something fun about finding a place and being like, oh, wow, this is a spot, because you cherish it more, you appreciate it more, and it makes the park up that much more enjoyable. Uh, however, I might regret that statement because we might find very little and we'll just be angry and frustrated. So I don't know, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Right, what are you making, Stevie? I'm making our wraps. What are we having in our wraps? Traps. 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 We're having a bit of onion, a bit of lettuce, a bit of cucumber with tuna, mayonnaise, and then a bit of sliced egg on it. Very nice. In our wrappy wrap. Mm.
Are you ready for a hike, Stevie? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so, so excited. I'm always so excited. It's never fun actually because we've already done it, it's just, like completed it, finished. We just want to get to the end. <laughs> now we can't, it's not circular, so you've kind of just got to go straight back. Yeah, it'll be alright. We're pros at this now. Yeah. We're kind of thinking that we're not sure we've actually done all of the seven because it, the signs seem to contradict each other and it says two miles back to the Berlin Gap and it feels like maybe they went further the other way. But we kind of did that yesterday, so maybe we have. I'm going to say we've done it. We've done it. Doesn't matter. I mean, there's seven of them. They all look similar, so whatever. <laughs> it's all clips, right? So it turned out we did hike all of the Seven Sisters, as Beachy Head itself isn't actually one of them, although you can easily do both on the same walk. From Berlin Gap, it's a couple of miles following the coast west before you reach a viewpoint overlooking Cuckmere Haven, where the cliffs taper off. Be prepared for lots of tourists at Berlin Gap Car Park, however, so we'd recommend avoiding weekends if possible. Oh, and if you're wondering if it's a bit hilly in places, this should give you some idea. All right. No. Oh. We will say no more. Right, so what did we feel like we deserved after that walk today? Let's show you. Chippies. <laughs> yeah, so we, we walked all of the Seven Sisters today, did all that, up and down, uh, hard going in some places, but still worth it. Um, and now we've driven all the way from there to a little place called Arundel, which is still in the South Downs. We just went further west. Um, and the first thing we did was park up and went to the fish and chip shop. <laughs> of course, we do love Arundel. So we put back on all the calories we lost on the walk, and it was worth every second as a decent bag of chips usually is. Join us next time as we explore more of the South Downs National Park by Campervan. Don't forget to like and share the video if possible, and consider subscribing if you haven't already clicked the button. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next one.